Okay, for you guys and girls that have been asking for a walk around on the, the Can-Am, we'll do, we'll do this for you now so that you've got it and you can see what we're talking about. I'm sure, though, as I said earlier, that there's a lot of these been done on YouTube. Uh, we'll do another one for you. Okay, 2014 Can-Am Limited, uh, two weeks old. And this one has done a couple of reasonable trips yet. And just a quick walk around. You can get a look at it front and back. Beautifully finished, I've got to say. Beautifully, beautifully finished. You see the accents around it. You can see the the radiators and how they've dropped the radiators down. They're forward of the Aeons now. Cooling is much better. Chrome accents everywhere. Chrome wheels, bigger brakes, bigger tyres. 1330 inline triple. Chrome accents around the foot pegs. So just a quick open up here. And I'm sure you guys have seen all these in the last RTs. They really haven't changed much. But respect, you can see the cases there. Yep. Same as the old model. You've got some charging points in here where you can charge your iPhone, you can charge your um, your um, computer, whatever you want to do. That is a Garmin GPS, which comes standard with the Limited. All right, comes part of the bike. Put that back in there, so there it is. Okay, so looking at this, as we go around it, see the aerial. Right, it's built in surround sound stereo. See, we've got heated grips. We've got controls for the passengers for the stereo, which is not exactly the same as what it was in the last models. This one has a heated seat. Heated grips here. You can see the semi-automatics. You're just looking at the no difference really. You've got the eco mode, which is new oh look that's fuel saving obviously but it remaps the motor and i find it i don't use it simply because it makes it so bloody gutless re reps it me remaps the whole thing so i turn it off and I, I figure that the fuel consumption is so good anyway i don't use it i can't see any sense in it i'd sooner have the power this one has a rear driver's seat on it which is a, an, an added extra for support for the driver. Now what I've noticed with this and the last year's model is how stable it is on the road. Honestly this thing is uh, incredibly stable. No tail wag in this, high winds it'll sit there beautifully. Doesn't want to blow you all over the road like a big kite. Okay so sitting in the driver's seat it's what you've got. Cruise control left to right. Um, just control button on and off, hazards, eco mode, the mode set, wireless, lights, indicators, electric screen, of course, which is the same on all of these. And that's it, that's your walk around. So what you will find in this, this is in first gear at the moment. Brake brakes on, you take the brake, brake, brake off. How smooth it is, but you will notice that if you watch the videos, of this machine and this is the only bike I've got so at the moment I'm vlogging on this bike so any videos you see of me on this bike this is the bike I'm using okay thank you signing out now bye